So in the film, our main character transforms from being a physicist to a dancer. And also his scientific research looking at these data visuals in CERN, he will kind of, as a dancer, become the data. So for this project, um, beside the regular film shoots that um, the film team is doing, we are also using the Microsoft Kinect cameras, which is a 3D camera being able to record 3D point clouds. The challenge will definitely be to combine the recorded point cloud data with um, CERN data, scientific data that um, was made available to us. This is just another big chunk of data that we kind of have to understand first. So kind of digging deep into the data sets that we got from CERN will be the next big challenge after those recordings here. It's, it's a huge amount of data and we have to make sure that we can kind of reduce it to the core and just see what makes and creates those beautiful animations that you all know from, from CERN visualizations. And then maybe see how we can actually use them in the dance recordings. Then we have the arching yeah. back. This is whoosh. I think when we're doing a lift, we're doing lifts yeah. that That's is like I'm doing here with foot yes. to go somewhere. Yeah. And we're not exactly. working with the weights all the way through. Yeah. So. Just recently, some of the CERN, actual CERN data became open source. And uh, we can transform these uh, collisions uh, into our 3D animation environment and kind of inject this particle dance cloud you see in the film with the real colliding data of CERN. What interests me basically to show this and what film is able to do is really to cross a different dimensions of movement. Because particles, how it's explained in physics, they move very differently from the world that we perceive around us or our bodies. But of course in film, I can tell a fictional story and kind of bridge those different uh, movements. And uh, in the story, he basically becomes a particle and, and starts dancing like one. 